So I have to give a big bless ups to KB Jones as his two part video has took me out of my mini summer break. I've also learned that this whole situation has been trending a lot. A lot of people have been doing their reactions to this whole situation. So I thought, let me just give my little take on it. Now, people are coming clearly for Adam 22 for allowing this to happen. And I can't blame them one bit. Even though I will say this, though, if he's fine with it, she's fine with it, then I have absolutely no issue with it at all. At the end of the day, it's their relationship, not mine, not ours. I will say this. He should have kept it private, though, which is one of the main issues, I believe, affecting society today. Look, not everything has to be talked about on a podcast or expressed on social media for the world to then make their comments, judge, and then make certain situations so much more bigger than it actually needed to be. Only people who needed to know were the people involved. Everyone else didn't need to know absolutely nothing. But who I really do think also looks bad in this situation is black men. Because in the interview with Adam 22, for some unknown reason, I don't know why he did this, he brought on one of the guys who his girlfriend was sleeping with, and lo and behold, because she was kind of uncomfortable a little bit, luckily she said he wasn't in studios on virtual call, but lo and behold, who did it happen to be? That's right, you guessed it. My man was willing to go on there, talk about the whole situation, pretty much detailing it. I'm like, I bet you probably thought that made him look good. And then KB Jones dropped the second video in which... This situation confirmed exactly what I thought about this whole thing entirely. Well, I have a black only preference, so all of them are black. But yes, it's there. I've given my number out to people and random and just invited them over like a guy through a drive through. I thought he was cute. So I gave him my number and he showed up that night. <laughs> well, I have a black only preference. So <laughs> Now, do you see where I'm going to go with this? Did you see or did you hear what I heard? Or did you infer what I heard? Let me surmise. Sleeping with black men in 2023 is not a flex. It's just not. We have been reduced to nothing but body parts to fulfill a sexual kink or fetish. Why do you think these types of women sought out black men especially? In her own words, she sought out black men especially. Now, a lot of black guys stay in this fantasy, you know, which they think they're so desirable. But then the question is, to whom are you desirable and for what purpose? Now, if your memory is long enough, not too long ago, there was a statement that was made by Tess Holliday saying this. Do black men love larger white women? That's today's hot topic after a supermodel Tess Holliday told The Guardian during an interview that, quote, black men love me. I always forget that. And then I come to a black neighborhood and I remember. Now, she had to come back and retract that whole statement because it all blew up in her face. But I think privately, she knew exactly what she said. She meant what she said. And we all know the reasons why. <laughs> who are we seen as? We are seen as guys, men who would accept damn near anything. Anything. I remember as clear as day when I was younger. My white friend said to me, black men will sleep with fat white women. I was like, nah, nah, no, they wouldn't. No, they wouldn't. No, they wouldn't. But listen, I can't deny these things. Black men will accept damn near anything. And they know it. We all know it. Remember that going in the car? who said that getting attention from black men is not seen as a good thing. And all the non-black girlfriends were saying the same thing. And then all these, you know, all these black men got mad and did all these reaction videos and were sitting back, just, just, just cracking up, laughing. And the reason why they were got so mad and did all the reaction videos is because it was a white woman who said this. And that killed a lot of these guys' self-esteem. But this is just the reality of things. Do not let fancy distort reality. It's like those memes where, you, you know, you have that classic go on holiday you see the fantasy the pictures it looks so great but the reality it looks completely different and it's always way 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 worse this is this whole situation here so when i saw this video when i saw kb's two-part series i thought this just reminds me everything which i already knew and just what i surmised but i knew exactly who'd be involved in a situation like this i already know the reasons why they'll be involved in a situation like this look Sleeping with black men in 2023 is not a flex for women. It just isn't. So sure, Adam 22 looks bad. Of course, he looks bad in this whole situation. But we don't come out of this looking good either. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. Until next time.